If you know how your design will perform, even before the first prototype, you can save yourself a lot of design changes later on. But as your designs get bigger and more complex, getting detailed results in specific areas can take some time. SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 introduces submodeling, making this task incredibly easy and efficient. Let me explain using this bottle packaging machine as an example. First, we run a simulation on the entire mechanism to give us a good overview of stress and deflection. Then we create a submodel to get more detail around any areas of concern, like the gearbox mount. To create the submodel, all you have to do is pick the bodies you want to focus on and the system automatically creates a new submodel study. All the loads and boundary conditions from the full model are automatically applied. This is a huge time saver and eliminates potential errors from manually applying loads and restraints. We're able to refine the mesh level or even add detail to the model such as welds, bolts or parts not included in the full model to gain more accurate results. Working with just this local region also lets you try out different local design concepts much faster than if you had to use the entire model or apply your own loads and boundary conditions. With access to all the standard results tools in SOLIDWORKS Simulation, you can quickly get the answers you're looking for about the performance of your design. And what's really great is that you can have multiple submodels, so evaluating different areas takes just a couple of clicks. In this submodel, we've included the bolts to check out local stresses near the gearbox mount. So if you create large and complex designs, submodeling in SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 will give you more accurate results faster than ever before.